Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how to turn the regular PoE switch into a long range PoE switch. Here we got a PoE Plus switch. It's connecting to the IP camera. The maximum distance between the camera and the switch is limited to about 328 feet. But working with the long range PoE switch, you can supply up to 1000 feet PoE network. In this video, I will use this PoE standard to turn this regular PoE switch into long range PoE switch. First, let's take a look at the PoE standard. It got an input port and output port. Simply, it's the network port on both sides. So we don't need to have the external power source for this PoE standard. It will get the power for the PoE switch. It, there are two kinds of scenarios. If the distance is less than, let's, let's say, 600 feet, we only need single PoE standard, it will repeat the PoE network for the IP camera. Usually, we need to place this PoE standard at the middle of the cable, just less than 328 feet before the signal, signal starts dropping. We need to use the PoE standard. We cannot place the PoE standard at the beginning or at the end of the camera. It will not work because the TCP IP network is only limited to 328 feet. Okay, the second kind of scenario. Let's say if the distance is beyond 600 feet, it's about 1,000 feet. In this case, one PoE standard is not enough. We need to have two PoE standards working together to achieve up to 1,000 feet network connection. In this video, we will test the 1,000 feet connection between the camera and the PoE switch. First, let me bring up the cable. This is the 1,000 feet Ethernet cable. And I will replace the short cable with the long cable. And here, I put two PoE standards. One will stay at the, just next to the PoE switch, and next we will place on the camera. OK, I also need to connect this to all these devices together. Let's use the short punch code, the short punch code to link the first PoE standard to the regular PoE switch. The tricky thing, you need to use, use the output to connect to the PoE switch. Just pick one of the PoE port and connect the short punch code to the output of the PoE standard. Now we connect the long cable to the input of the first PoE standard. Okay, let's move to the second PoE standard. Second PoE standard, we don't need to flick anything. The input still will face to the cable coming from the PoE switch. And now the output will connect to the camera. The setup is a little bit tricky. We need to flick the first PoE standard. Inventory, we got input phase to input. And they have 1,000 continue run between the first PoE standard and the second PoE standard. You can place the DC standard both sides. I turn the camera's live now. We use this one pair of PoE standard to have 1,000 feet continue run Ethernet PoE network. If we need second long run, we can have another PoE standard, these two pair, and working with the second port from the regular PoE switch. This PoE standard can come by as net. It's quite easier to place the PoE standard on top on the top of the regular switch. At the edge, you also can use this thin ray mount and the wall mount bracket. Just put the PoE standard inside and roll the PoE standard on the mount on the wall. There's one thing, it's about the power. As I just mentioned, this PoE Plus can output 30 watt through a single port. And it will be still enough if we work with the small IP camera. What if we need to work with the large high power Pentium zoom camera? The power construction could be the issue. The 30 watt one we, are one we mentioned about PoE Plus, it's limited to 328 feet now. We just extend the PoE up to 1,000 feet. There are more power loss during the transmission. In this case, we can use the high power PoE injector. This is the 90 watt high power PoE injector. Let me just get the PoE injector. This PoE injector can output 90 watts through the single port. It uses all the four twist pairs to send the power. 
So if you, enough, even for 1,000 feet, you still can have this 25.5 watt PoE plus output. It can work the 10,000 camera for 1,000 feet. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in the comment section below. See you next time.